Well, good morning, good morning, good morning. Hello, hello to you all. I say hello because, you know, it's morning here where we are, but it might be nighttime or evening where you are. So, hello, I think kind of covers it. Hmm. I am Clarice Myers, coming to you live. Good morning, I'm Roland Myers, her husband. I'm glad to be here with you all. I'm so excited that he's here. It's been a, it's been a little while, but nonetheless, we are spiritual entrepreneurs and we're speaking to fellow spiritual entrepreneurs, people who know that they are here and uh, are given a specific purpose that only they can do. Mm -hmm. All right. And so this whole week, um, just, today's just Tuesday, mm -hmm. <laughs> but last week I've been talking a lot about creating your amazing life. You know, I, I mentioned that none of us should ever be envious of anyone else because just like they have 24 hours in a day so do we and it's how we choose to use our time that determines the quality of life that we have the success you know whatever it is that our goals are so um, today we're just going to bring another few tips another few thoughts three of them actually about how you too can create your amazing life so yeah you want to start uh, yeah well these are things that we're not only telling you but we're practicing ourselves that's right and uh, well one thing is um, learn skills that are practical to you and your lifestyle in your daily life you know mm -hmm. but being educators teachers you know we've been in the school system for quite some time and one of the things that we found is lacking in terms of practical life skills is that in the area of like finances you know um, I was looking at a post that someone did yesterday and it said we should you know like carve out um, algebra 2 or something because it's not it's all these formulas and we don't necessarily use that in our everyday life but we should in, um, replace it with you know budgeting and learning how credit works because that is something that can help all of our children you know knowing how to apply those mathematics in in relevant terms right um, make the exception being if you're going into a profession or you're going into a job that you know requires all those higher high, level. high level mathematics and thinking skills, then you know that's where it's practical. But you know um, a lot of people are not going to be like going into a scientific or engineering field. Mm -hmm. You know, so I mean, so to a lot of people, it just may not be practical. As mm -hmm. for example, myself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, because you started off doing. Um, you start engineering, aeronautical technology. Well, yeah, engineering, then it moved to technology, and yes. here we are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, we, you know, budgeting, and the thing is, because it's not taught specifically, in, like in elementary or middle school, high school, <clears throat> parents who know about this need to pass that knowledge on to our children, so they don't have to learn lessons the hard way. Yeah, um, because the hard way is very expensive <laughs> when yes. it comes to budget. Yes. You know. All right, so that's how one way you can create an amazing life for yourself and for your posterity. Also, two, freedoms. You know, freedom to explore new horizons in terms of maybe you have an idea, a business idea, you want to explore it, but then maybe you, you might be in a relationship that's kind of restrictive, you know, like maybe, you know, there's an old fashioned way of thinking. Long ago, like even when my mom, oh, like some past then, you know, at one time, many women, this was the thinking back then, they, you know, maybe go to school, go to high school, when they finish high school, it was, college was not really in the picture. They just want to get married and somebody's going to take care of me, that mentality. But that is not the, 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 the life we're living today. It takes a two parent uh, working families to make ends meet to be able to to sustain for most people. For most people, you know. Mm -hmm. Not not everyone. Most people are not 
they not they don't inherit wealth from their families from past generations most people are not like that so if you're in a restrictive environment where you're not free to explore and to to find things out or then and others don't believe as you do right you know they don't share in that that vision that drive that's you know, right that, that could be problems you know it, it could hinder you in the long run that's right so not saying that you just break out and go do what you want but you need to have a discussion with your mate your partner let them know hey there's some things I want to do and you want someone to work with you yeah which a scripture in the Bible can two walk together unless they agree unless they both be agreed something yeah. like that yeah yeah and, and then talking about that too um, uh, someone uh, Bill Bill Morgan sent me um, a little clip uh, it was a, a story talking about was well, two a couple they were I don't know if they were older but these three old men came by the home and the, the, the wife was home, so her husband wasn't home, and she went out to greet, hey, you've been walking for a long time, you want to come in and have uh, something to eat or something to drink? They said, I'm sorry, we can't come in unless your husband is at home. So they stayed outside. And um, later in the day when her husband came home, she said, you know, those men out there, they want to come by, and she said, tell them to come on in. Oh, by the way, their names were uh, Love, Wealth, and Success. So she, he told her, go tell him to come on in. So she went on outside. Hey, my husband's home now. Come on in. They said, well, I'm sorry. We cannot all come at the same time. Only one can come at a time. And uh, so she went back and gave her husband the message. He said, okay, tell wealth to come on in. Invite wealth to come in first. And uh, she said, the wife said, no, we should invite success in. And... Um, the daughter in, in the background heard their discussion. She said, no, invite love to come into the home. And uh, they discussed it and they all agreed. So the mother went out and said, love, we would like you to come. So he got up mm -hmm. and was walking with her to the house. But right behind him was success and wealth. And she said, wait, wait a minute, I only called, I only called love. And, uh, they, they said, they responded, well, wherever love goes, we go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I thought that was a beautiful story. So mm -hmm. it lets us know that to be able to accomplish anything, uh, if, you're, uh, if you have a mate or whatever partner, you must be agreed, there must be love, and then once that's in the home, you can accomplish anything else. Success will come, wealth will come. And yeah, love ought to be the... The, the driving force for everything that we do. Mm -hmm. And I would say godly love. Yes. Um, love is like the, the gasoline, what gasoline is to an engine, automobile engine. Fuel. It, it drives it. And without the love, then when, uh, you know, if you become successful, you know, we have enough jerks in the world <laughs> as it is. Yeah. You know, without love, you'd be the type of person that... Uh, Things only about yourself. Yeah, you invent uh, a, uh, what was it that guy invented? Oh, uh, 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 a medicine. And then charge some outrageous price right. for it. Mm -hmm. Just simply because you can get away with it, you know. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so that was tip number two. Be free to explore new horizons. And if you're in a restrictive relationship, then you need to address that because, again, for you to live an amazing life, create an amazing life for yourself. Those are things that need to be addressed. All right, number three, or the third point is, look up um, the latest trends that's in, in society today. Like in terms of, we mentioned automobile, the kind of automobiles that are being sold, not just now, but we're, we're trending towards uh, those electric, electric cars. cars. Um, you know, like the Tesla, you know, and, and they're making them better and better. Now you can go hundreds of miles on a charge because people are concerned about polluting the, the environment, you know, the atmosphere. So, you know, cars will soon, I say probably within five years, look like the way that's going. 
they're going to be replacing gasoline automobiles. So. Uh, and we were talking also about imagination. Yeah. Imagination. It's. Um, we were talking about education, you know, now, and we tend to value creative imaginations more so than all the technical stuff. Right. Because with that, you know, you can branch off into any area with a creative imagination. Right. You want to add some more to that? Well, uh, I mean, I was just listening to the gospel station yesterday, and uh, it was said, um, some famous person said, uh, I'm not sure if it was Elon Musk or not, um, that they value imagination more than education. And uh, Elon Musk, just in case you don't know who that he is, he started his own rocket company uh, after being turned down. And come to find out, you know, from my understanding, he didn't have a degree. And he told his people he's not interested in degrees. You know, he's more interested in, I guess, your imagination and what you can do, what you can make happen. So um, that's very, very important. Which, when talking about imagination, you know, um, and I, I didn't even realize it at a time, but again, growing up in the Virgin Islands and my surroundings, you know, living close to, well, I wouldn't say close, living near the, I wouldn't say woods. <laughs> it's more like a jungle because the vines grow on top of each other. You can't just walk through it. You have to use a cutlass, whatever. But the iguanas, I somehow developed a fascination for those. <laughs> mm. And so if they could talk, what would they say? And um, I, I used my experiences and wove my experiences into their lives when I came up with my my book yep. this is uh, my first it's a, a series of stories that will be about my life growing up there and the lessons that I've learned lessons that children can learn uh, in their relationships with others so this is the first one it's, of course it's available on Amazon and Barnes and Noble online and um, so we're talking about how we can create an amazing life for ourselves. We don't have to be envious of anyone else. We have skills, we have talents, we have abilities that's unique to ourselves and, and we can develop them more. And opportunities. And opportunities. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's what we have for you today. Those three points. Learn a skill that is practical um, for today and especially make sure your children know it because that, that will help them too. To be free to explore new horizons in terms of in things that interest you and what, where technology is leading. And uh, that kind of combined number two and three right there. Yeah. But I also have a, a group online. It's called uh, Spiritual Entrepreneur Goal Achievers. Spiritual Entrepreneur Goal Achievers. I invite you to join that group. I also have a website it's called Reese'sDomain.com. And every day we come and share just something with you that can pick you up, something that gets you thinking, something that can help you to create your amazing life. And uh, thank you, Roland, for joining me today. Oh, my pleasure. Yes, and uh, I'll be back again tomorrow at uh, 8 o'clock. <laughs> mm. I'll see you then. Oh, and if there's anything that uh, pricks your consciousness or resonates with you, don't hesitate to share. And let me see, before I go off, I say good morning to you. Hi, Mitzi, good morning. Oh, I did something. What did I do? Okay, good morning, Mitzi. Glad that you can join me this morning. I see here, um, Rose, is that? Hi, Rose, good morning. Mm -hmm. Thank you for coming and stopping in with us this morning. Good morning, Fred. Is that Fred? Fred? I um, had to make a creative way. My tripod and left it <laughs> somewhere else, so I had to find a way to set my camera so it won't fall down. Anyway, thank you guys for joining me, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye, -bye. Bye for now. Bye.